How's it going? My name is John McLennan. I hope you're doing fantastic. I want to give you a guitar lesson today in the style of Blink-182. This is a really cool little riff and it's just based off of a couple chords. So let's zoom in and I'll break it down for you. The basic intro contains four chords. A C5, a G5, an A5, and an F5. They're all power chords. And that's what this riff is based on. So I start with my third finger on the third fret of the fifth string, and I play that note twice. Then I move down one string to the fourth string and play that note open twice. And then end with your second finger on the second fret of the fourth string. So it sounds like this. So I've got this sequence of two notes here, two notes here, and then one. Now the cool thing that's going to happen is I'm just going to change bass notes. So instead of playing the third fret of the fifth string, for the second measure, I'm going to move up to the third fret of the sixth string. And then I play the same two or uh, three notes that I did before. So I got. So the first two measures are. One more time. Now with my right hand, I'm just I'm bashing all these notes on a downstroke, just like hitting a hammer, or hitting the nail right on the head with a hammer. Just for a rock sound. And then I play the open A string twice. Then add those three notes. And then last but not least, I'm going to put my first finger on the first fret of the sixth string. Play the note F twice. Now here's the cool twist, is the whole time we've been going This time we're going to reverse it and go So instead of zero, zero, 002, we're going to go 2, 2, zero. And it just kind of buttons it up nice So if I play the third and fourth measures, we guess it sounds like this Okay, so remember I said those chords at the beginning were C, G, A, and F. You'll notice that the bass lines of, you know, the first note of each measure is C, G, A, F. So you see it's very root bound and it ties in the chords with the riff. Alright, well don't forget to take it slow and uh, make sure you're playing each note nice and clean and then you can add all the distortion and everything to it. Don't forget to hit subscribe below and we'll see you in the next video lesson. Thanks for watching.